I'm going to demonstrate how to do two quick versions of a mid-side decoder in Pro Tools. This first method using auxins is great if you want to decode audio that you're recording on the fly. The first thing that I'm going to do is change the output of the mid-track to bus 1 and the output of the side track to bus 2. I'm going to right click the output of each track to relabel bus 1 and 2 to piano mid and piano side. Now I'm going to create three mono aux inputs. I'm going to change the input of aux 1 to be the piano mid bus and the input of aux 2 and 3 to both be the piano side bus. Now I'm going to add Avid's Trim plugin which is found under the other submenu. Most EQ plugins will also have a phase flip function. I'm going to click on the phase flip button on the upper right corner of the plugin. At this point you want to make sure that you have the delay compensation enabled. I can check to make sure my side tracks are set correctly by keeping them panned in the center and muting the mid track. Now when I press play, if I don't hear any audio or see anything on the master fader, then I know that everything is set correctly because the phase is canceling each other out of the side tracks. Now I'm going to pan aux 2 to the left and aux 3 to the right and play back the signals. The left side plays back the side signal intact, while the right side plays back the phase inverted signal. Now when I unmute the piano mid track, I can play back everything decoded. Now I'm going to group the last two tracks so I can adjust the level of both sides simultaneously. And for the purposes of tidiness, I'm going to relabel the aux 1, 2, and 3 tracks to what they actually are. Now I can adjust the stereo width of the recording by adjusting the balance between the mid and the sides tracks. Like I mentioned before, this method of mid-side decoding is ideal when you'd want to decode audio that's being mid-side recorded on the fly. This next method is really easy to make a mid-side decoder. It involves duplicating the side track and then adding a plugin to flip the phase of the duplicated track. I'm going to use the same trim plugin to flip the phase of the duplicated track. I'm going to mute the piano mid track and then play back the sides to make sure the audio on both those tracks are canceling each other out. Now I'm going to hard pan the side tracks and play back the audio. Adding the mid track in for the decoded sound. Now I'm going to group the side track so I can play with the balance between the mid and the sides. Another way you can do this without having to worry about a real-time plugin is to invert the phase with an audio suite plugin. 
I'm going to temporarily turn off the group and then highlight the bottom track that I want to flip the phase of. Under the Audio Suite menu, select Invert from the other submenu. This will write a phase inverted version of this audio track to your hard drive. It takes up a little bit of hard drive space, but frees up a real-time insert. So these are two different methods of creating a mid-side decoder in Pro Tools.